it was on the shoulders of giants. On the shoulders of giants. Yes. Yeah, but when was it released though? Oh, when? Yeah. When? Uh, about, I mean, long time ago. They haven't done anything for years. About ten years ago, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's it's not really modern. Is anyway, it? listen. That was Peter Gabriel, it right? It was. Now, Sledgehammer. Now, sometimes I make outrageous claims on it's this made show. Me, it's made me have an image in my head of me whacking you with a sledgehammer. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, you see, I don't it's know quite where like you to do that. Don't know where your violent tendencies come from. Although there was uh, evidence of them in Glasgow, obviously. Well, I don't go into that. Not at all. Now, um, what I wanted to say to you was, I sometimes make uh, quite startling announcements on this show. You do. Yeah. I'm going to make one of the most startling announcements ever, but oh, yeah. it is based 100% on mm. research and evidence. Do you know why we play Peter Gabriel there? No idea. Peter Gabriel is such a genius, in mm. my view, such yeah. a man so far ahead of his time. Yeah. You know, I said to you the other night when we spoke to the dog whispering lady, when are you going to teach dogs how to talk? Yeah, that was last night. That was last night, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Not the and, other night. Uh, OK. And as usual, a lot of people, you know, deride things that I say. I mean, for instance, people were deriding the fact that the iron ore industry was in meltdown and collapse. Mm. It has now completely collapsed. Yeah. 85,000 people are going to lose their jobs, yeah. OK? Yeah, you didn't predict that, did I you? I predicted that a year no, ago. No, you didn't. You said I it did. would come back. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, you did. You no. said it would come back. You said it was a, uh, no. a correction. I said China was... You said it was a correction. I said China was cooling and, uh, and it was all going to cause problems. Yeah. Now, the latest one here is quite startling. What Peter Gabriel is doing is yeah. he has developed musical equipment mm. to allow apes to communicate with each other through music. Really? I, it, honestly, I'm not hey, joking. Hey, we're the monkeys. No, 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 no. I mean, well, that was a very trite <laughs> way to, to respond. I'm well, it's just true to me. He's devised a way now to get monkeys and apes to speak to each other. Yeah. And eventually, when they've mastered the art of communicating... Well, they already speak to each other, don't they? No, 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 no. They already no. do. No, 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 of course they do. Otherwise, how would they communicate would you, at hear all? Hear me out, please. Hear me out. And they're going to do it on musical instruments. Yeah. And then what's going to happen is Peter Gable is then going to take that music mm. that the apes have made yeah. and then he's going to interpret what the apes are saying. Oh, great. And eventually... He's going to get Brian Eno to no, do eventually, some work on it eventually, as well. eventually he will play some music back to the apes yeah. and he will be talking to apes. He'll be the first man Fantastic. in the world to, in, in history to talk to apes. I think he might be smoking too many funny no, cigarettes. no. Please listen to this. What do you um, mean, please listen to this. But I'm going to I'm going to tell Why you. Why are you so excited about it? Well, because it's going to happen. Everybody it's going to happen. knows that animals uh, communicate with each other. And, yeah, but he's found a way of communicating uh, humans communicating with apes. Well, and it, so what? And he's also found well, a way. What difference does it make? To although me? you oh, no, listen. I care less. Just listen. This is taking it a stra- a, a, no, I don't a, think it is. A, it is because at the moment you're saying quite tritely we all know animals communicate with each well, other. Of course they do. But what what Peter Gable's going to yeah. do is he's going to interpret what they're saying to each other. Well, what do you think they'll be talking about? You know, I preferred Genesis when Phil Collins was in it. No, don't be idiotic. Well, what then? What they will talk about things like what food they like, what they think of the environment. Yeah, have you what, tried uh, making some stone what, what, baked pizzas what, what, in the African what, veldt? You, look, I, honestly, I'm going to dismiss your stupidity <laughs> because that's what it is. This is an extremely serious experiment. For instance, well, is he doing it in association with any kind of scientists? Or yes, is he, he is. Just doing it on his oh, own. Oh, yes, he is. He well, is. who's he, he using to do this? Well, with, if you then? just shut up, I'll tell you. Well, get on with it then. Like Doctor Doolittle, Peter Gabriel is convinced that people could communicate with animals if only we could find well, a shared... it's obviously a serious piece of research if they're quoting from Dr. Doolittle. If only we could find a shared medium of expression. Yeah. And he has suggested that what we learn in trying could even teach ultimately how to communicate with extraterrestrial life oh, forms, OK? Right. Now, in an experiment... We well, start building things with mashed potato now. I, I'm going to ignore your cynicism because I think I think you're ignorant to, to be so You don't even so care cynical. about what goes on in space. You told us it wasn't worth exploring. I care what happens on this planet between us and animals. Right. Now, please listen. Go on, then. Please just shut up for a minute, because the audience... The I am being, I'm, I'm listening, but it's absolute balderdash you're talking. It's not. They're on the edge of the seat and they want to hear. Mm. Now, in an experiment which he's going to launch next spring, animals at Monkey World which is a 65-acre chimpanzee rescue centre in Dorset, oh, yeah. are to be given... I've been there, actually. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, are to be given video conferencing equipment and monitored to see if they can use it to communicate with mm. one another. Right. Now, what... Uh, Didn't what... you tell us that you could speak gibbon once before? Yes, I've spoken gibbon. So you can already speak gibbon. I've, I've, so I've why don't imitated... you go and join in with, uh, with old Peter Gabriel's, you know, mad plan? No, it's not a mad plan. If, I, 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 wish, I really wish you wouldn't be so dismissive, honestly, because you're trying to make a joke out of something which is incredibly serious. Well, I'm not, I'm not taking it seriously at all. Right, I don't well, take anything you say well, seriously. Well, well, let me just finish this, please. Go on. The idea is to extend a big video network that already exists, mm. right? And he's working in association with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Yeah, I think MIT. You'll, I think you'll agree, one of the most advanced Certainly very, very universities place, in the yes. world. I yeah. like that Thank place, you. Yeah, yeah, very good. So that different species, including our own, that is Homo sapien, uh. have a chance to communicate, right? Now, Mr Gabriel, who's working on the... Communicate in- with who? 
with each other and then with us. Well, we can right. communicate with each other. Uh, no, the apes communicate oh. with each other. Right. right. Now, Mr Gabriel, um, working on the Interspecies Internet Project, right, right. which is what it's called yeah. at uh, MIT, hmm. alongside t- scientists, including the, the very famous and great web pioneer, Vint Gerf. Who? Vint Gerf was a... He's, Who? Vint Gerf, he's Don't the Dutchman. Shout. Well, well, I've never heard of him. Well, well, stop being so blinking cynical. Well, I've never and, heard of him. And acting so stupidly I've never heard of him. on a serious subject. You try to reduce everything to a joke, because... That's frankly, not true. Frankly, you can't take these things That's on. That's not true. Now, please listen to this. I'm absolutely... Uh, so, Vint Gerf is involved, and so is Professor Neil Gershenfeld. Oh, okay? great, I'm mm. glad. Now, what he says is... Uh, I'm absolutely certain the monkeys will use the video cameras in Monkey World to communicate with each other. Mm. I'm also interested how they would use the internet to communicate. Yes. In a later experiment, planned animals in the zoo and creatures released into the jungle from the same zoo are to be given similar equipment. So, what, the so they're all going to be walking around with video cameras? Yes, that's absolutely right. That doesn't sound like a good idea. No, it is. Um, so they're going to have video cameras, right? Uh, they're going to go out into the wild and mm. there will be other cameras either embedded in trees yeah. in their environment yeah. so, so they can, you know, be watched right. all the time, right? Who's paying for all this? Or, eh? Who's paying for all this? The MIT oh. uh, people. All oh, right. Yeah, or, or they're going to be in glass boxes, which will immediately, um, you know... Well, why uh, should we be interfering with the habitat of no, these no, creatures? No, we're not. We're trying to well, communicate you're giving, with them. No, you're giving them all cameras. Yeah, but it's they're in glass idea. boxes so that the, the no. apes look at it and they get puzzled and then look at them. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's interfering with their environment. Now, I'm not in favour of this already. Now, so you now, say this is a serious project. It's very serious. I say that it's interfering with their natural habitat. It's not at all. We're in a, if we can start communicating with apes, then we can make their lives better. And why can we make their lives... Their lives are perfectly good. No, the only thing that makes their lives worse is mm. the fact that people capture them no. and put them in places like Monkey World. Well, that's what they'd I, be quite happy to be in the wild, that, thank you very much. That's obviously what I don't want to do. Now then, the next step, says Mr Gabriel, uh, who... Mr Gabriel now. Yeah, I call him Mr Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is to use technology to try to enable animals such as monkeys and apes, dolphins and elephants... Dolphins? ..to communicate with humans, right? Well, dolphins already communicate with humans. Now, the idea is to give non-humans choice and control over technology that we already use because they so respond... Give iPads. Because they respond as we do... Or iPods, actually, would be better, wouldn't it? Much better to being given control. Um, Mr Gabriel, who wants to find visual audio interfaces with the creatures uh, that could be used... <laughs> He's definitely lost the plot. I, have, Peter I haven't. Not you, him. That can be used by both humans and intelligent animals. What's he going to give cameras to dolphins now? Yeah. Put, no, we're going to put cameras they have on to be dolphins' underwater. backs. They have to be underwater cameras. Well, they'll be waterproof cameras, so, yeah. so that you well, can see... Should, well, that will interfere with the variability to swim. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. It will change the whole uh, you rubbish. know aerodynamic nature oh, of their bodies. Do you know how small cameras can be these days? A, a camera can be the size of a pinhole, as you well know. Really? Because, well, listen, when we all used to work on tabloid newspapers in Fleet mm. Street, we used to wear them in our ties, didn't we, no. to catch people what? out and all that kind of about? stuff. I never wore a small camera in my tie. Now, here, listen to this, please. In one experiment, apes were allowed to choose... Tie, uh, don't worry about this. is so important. In one experiment, apes were allowed to choose films from a pile of videos, mm. right? Their favourite... <laughs> yeah, they, they put a pile of videos on, tell me. next to the apes. It was a Top Gun, was it? Just shut up for a minute. Their favourite was, believe it or not, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? Which one? What is your problem? <laughs> Wait, what, Rise of the Planet of the Apes? They put a load of videos out. Do they prefer out. that to the original TV series? The Planet of the Apes was a well, another popular choice. <laughs> believe it or not, another popular choice was the film Bigfoot. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Why can't you just take this seriously, what you about idiot? King Kong, did they like that? <laughs> Honestly, I give up sometimes. I give up. In, in fact, in fact, the actual Bigfoot film was a very famous one called Bigfoot and the Hendersons. Was that a, was that a, was that a famous one? That's a comedy. A me- uh, sorry, it says um, it says here a movie featuring uh, a friendly Sasquatch yeah. adopted by an American family. That's it, yeah. And uh, and Gabriel described how a primate that had been taught to use Why sign language. Why didn't he just make another album? Yeah, yeah. Listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, a uh, a primate that had been taught to use sign language was shown footage of nine eleven, the nine eleven horrors, uh-huh. shortly after the attacks, and then used animal signs to indicate so sorry. How about that? Really? Yeah. No, I mean, honestly, I don't know why he are. <laughs> he, he also, by the way, well, he also... What's Dolphin's favourite film? He gave a bonobo... Flipper. He gave a bonobo a keyboard. And watched Who? A, a load of bonobos. Bonobos? Yeah, bonobos are like little uh, monkeys. Bonobos. 
Bonobos, that's right, Bonobos. So he gave the Bonobos keyboards like and watched as at first they bashed them with their fists like infants, but then progressed to picking out individual notes using two fingers. They're yeah, actually playing two the piano. Fingers. I've got two fingers for you. <laughs> and But this is the greatest thing. This is the greatest thing. Mr Gable is now determined to make a new album with the Bonobos playing the um, acoustic, playing the um, pianos. Yeah. Apes, he said, are more adept at understanding our language. So he can't get any session musicians then. He's just going to use the Bonobos. He's going to use Bonobos uh, in his recording yeah. studio to play the keyboard yeah. instruments on his next album. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. I think. I mean, I am in awe at get sunny, discovering all yeah, this. Sunny Bonobo, <laughs> Bonobo from you two, be great. <laughs> I give up. I give up. <laughs> this is Talk Sport. Bienvenue on Weekend Sports Breakfast avec Michel Quinn and Georgie Bingham. The Talk Sport with Benno Vans. It's the breakfast show that cooks up a souffle of sport and a pan of chocolat of pre-match build-up every Saturday and Sunday morning on Talk Sport. The hors d'oeuvre to another big weekend feast of football. Hey, la, does anyone know the French for me? Hi. The Weekend Sports Breakfast with Mickey Quinn and Georgie Bingham. Saturday and Sunday mornings from 7 on Talk Sport with Benno Vans. Four years warranty and roadside assistance as standard. Ooh, la. Dream of owning your first home? A £3,000 government bonus could help open the door. Introducing the new Help to Buy ISA. The government will give you up to £3,000 towards your first home, so for every £200 you put away, the government will give you another £50 free. To help open the door to your dream, visit helptobuy.gov.uk slash ISA. Prostate cancer kills over 10,000 men every year. That's one every hour. Raise cash to help beat prostate cancer on Football to Amsterdam 2016. An epic two-day sponsored cycle challenge. Visit prostatecanceruk.org slash Amsterdam to find out more. Prostatecanceruk.org slash Amsterdam. Need a business partner you can rely on? Check out the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 313 medium wheelbase high roof at Mercedes-Benz East London Van Centre. It comes with a free option pack, three free services and a deposit contribution of £2,800. And it will cost your business just £299 a month. Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, partnering your business for 20 years. For details and conditions, visit mbvanseastlondon.co.uk. Business uses only based on 60-month agility agreement, deposit 454312, optional final payment 6475 and 10,000 miles per annum. Mileage and damage charges may apply. Mercedes-Benz Finance. Offer ends the 15th of December. Come on, everybody! It's Gibbon time! Wah-oo! Woo! Wah-oo! Woo! 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 Wah-wah! Wah-wah! Wah, wah. Well, the goodies, how do you do? We've just been down to the zoo. We saw a monkey in a cage doing a dance that could be the rage. That was, of it's course, uh, from an earlier show when yes. you were uh, doing Gibbon Speak. In fact, right. I think I believe there might be a, a video of that on our Two Mites TV uh, channel as Is well, that? actually. Yeah, I think so. Is there? Uh, which people should go to. It's on YouTube, Two Mites TV. Uh, if you haven't uh, heard enough about okay. us, uh, then you can see us as well. Now, I've got yeah. an immense number of tweets that have come in right. uh, based on uh, what you've just said, right? Yes. Uh, all I can do is start from the beginning, really. Okay. Uh, B Champion says, understatement of the year 2015. Surely the front runner has to be by Mike Parry. Sometimes I make outrageous claims on this show. Yes, well, I do because what I do is I research a lot of stuff around the world and then I come to the studio and I share it with our millions of listeners. Right. Now, I'm not trying to be outrageous, it's just that I find out stuff that other people don't know mm. and which other people don't accept and I explain to them. I can honestly, graphically, see the absolute common sense in Peter, Gray, uh, Peter Gabriel. Mr. Gabriel, to yeah, you. Mr. Gabriel, yeah. a master music. Musician yeah. using the medium of music to try and find out how animals communicate with each mm. other, which hopefully will one day develop with, with animals communicating with humans. Yeah, great. I think this is a great Fantastic. idea. Well, what, what do you think they're going to say? Well, I don't know what they're going to say, do well, I? But so I mean, it, it will be absolutely fascinating to find out Why what thoughts go through well, it might the, not the be brains of apes. Of course, it will. It might not be fascinating at all. Steve says, uh, MG Porky's now really lost the plot. Uh, obviously, not enough and uh, not enough sleep. Hashtag monkey plank. Uh, Patrick says, uh, I almost drove off the road at the stone baked pizza comment. Uh, and then Mal says, Yes, Porky, I'm on the edge of my seat before falling off it laughing about your so called important story. I, Hashtag I, talk to the animals. I don't know why I bother sometimes. Dion honestly. says, uh, 2017 newspaper front page. 
age, Peter Gabriel speaks to apes. Mm. They ask, uh, do you have any bananas? No, uh, then get lost. That's not what he mm. says, but something else. Yeah. Frazzle says, Peter Gabriel, uh, shouldn't Peter Gabriel be doing something worthwhile like finding a cure for cancer? Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt says... Well, they, well, this could be, well be it. Could be. It could be the start of something well, like you that. Mean you might have doctors suddenly in the ape community. No, of course Corky not. Really what I'm saying is you any... might find out things that, that animals know that we don't. Yeah, well, they'll, yeah. Sure they know some things that you don't know. Mm. Matt says, Porky really does believe any old crap he reads, doesn't he? No, I don't. I, it's, it's, uh, you've already admitted that MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, yeah. is one of the world's learn, uh, uh, leading seats of learning. It is, yeah. yeah. That doesn't mean Thank everything you. they do is worthwhile. Well, it means that they think it's a worthwhile project to explore, so I do wish the, you know, the triteness that you bring to it. You see, what you I'm, do I'm is... I'm merely reflecting what people are saying, no. uh, listening to what because you're saying. Because you're envious of my deep knowledge in I'm these affairs. I'm not at all envious of you. you. You mock and you deride, no. and then the feeble-minded amongst our listeners jump on your bandwagon and decide I do, you know, let's give it all Porky because well, no, he's a nutter. Ridiculous. It, you know, all I do, all I do... <laughs> I have never called you that. I, all I do is bring to the forefront those unexplored areas of knowledge yeah. which sometimes our listeners are not aware of. It's as simple as here's, that. Here's my favourite tweet of the night so far right. from Dave. He says, the apes are going to love it. 250 quid for every video they send into Harry Hill. Hashtag plank alert. Uh, and Steve says, MG, you better yeah. get a replacement for Porky. The men yeah. in the white coats are coming for him. He's lost the plot. Uh, you see, it's all... It, it, uh, honestly, I... It's not worth talking about. Not worth talking about, honestly. Because, uh, Dan says, well, there's yeah. more of these. I've got to keep reading them out. Yeah, uh, Dan says, can't wait to see all these apes and dolphins with GoPro action cams attached to them while they skateboard and surf. Well, who knows that if one of these days they can't. Didn't you recently see a uh, video of a little dog that was on a skateboard, yes. which went skateboarding through yeah, the Yeah, but he didn't have a camera of... on his back, did he? Well, he might have done, and he could have done. Loads of animals wear c- cameras on their backs now. Police dogs have cameras on their backs well, when they're on duty. Well, it doesn't mean they want to, though, does it? Well, it, 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 it's a... It it's doesn't a, mean they want to. What we're basically... It's a very I mean, you common know, practice. If you want to take this as a serious scientific experiment, I'm yeah. uneasy yeah. about going into the habitat mm. of wild animals mm. and changing it, right? You're suggesting that's what they're going to do. Not only are they going to change their environment by putting a lot of boxes in there, but they're also then going to put cameras on them yes. in some way, shape, yeah. or form, which is interfering interfering with their natural habitat. No, I don't it, think it's right. If you can improve the lives of these animals... Well, well, they, then they don't want their lives improved. They, they just don't want to be improved. shot by poachers. Yeah, that's, exactly. the, that's the best thing to do. Exactly. And if, and, Maybe and you if, should give them guns instead of cameras. And if by, eh? if by communicating... Why not give them guns instead of cameras? It's a stupid question. Why? I've got to answer it. If we Why can, is it a stupid question? It, because it's stupid. Because Why? you know an animal can't use a gun, you idiot. Well, right? you tell me about that video that you'd seen you on YouTube. You knew that was a fake. What I'm saying is this. Well, if, they can't use cameras either. If we can start communicating with animals, we can warn animals how to avoid being shot by poachers. I think you'd be better how giving to, them a gun. How to uh, be aware of the approach of poachers, how to alert yeah. uh, humans, i.e. rangers and people like I that, still to, think, I still to think the presence better, of poachers. I still poachers. think it's better if you giving them a gun than a camera. So they can take a picture of a poacher before he gets shot. Honestly. If they have a gun, they can shoot the poacher. Honestly. You don't I, have you any know, brains at know, all. You know. Uh, Andy says, I hope the apes develop a noise on the maracas to tell Porky to stop talking rubbish. Uh, Bill says, Porky's lost the plot. He must be on the super strength Red Bull. No. What about any which way but loose and King Kong? Not at all. Uh, Dom says, it was called Harry and the Hendersons, Porky. You plank. What? The, the, the movie you said was called something in the Hendersons. Bigfoot and the Hendersons. Bigfoot and the Hendersons. Harry and the Hendersons. OK, well, it, this one says Bigfoot and the Hendersons. And uh, Ian says, uh, ding dong, the men in white coats for Mr Parry, take him away on a triumph bonobo. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, look, you see, the problem is, the problem mm. is, is that there are millions of the silent majority out there who ab- actually appreciate what I'm saying yeah. and who um, accept that, you know, this is a, a form of science which can be explored. But because of your derisive attitude to all this, they don't want to send a tweet saying, I think Porky's onto something here, because you will just mock well, that Well, I haven't tweet. got one yet that says no. Porky's telling a really interesting story here. No, of course you oh, haven't, Ricky. because, Ricky because says, people I now won't know... do that, because they know you read them out, and no. you will merely no, take will the mickey a, and deride any, and embarrass... If anybody wants to send in a tweet praising you for your great yeah. scientific insight, yes. I would be happy to yeah, read it out, good. but there aren't any. Yeah, well, Ricky says, that's I know... because people are frightened, because you mock every, people everything are that you don't understand. Oh, yeah, because I'm brainless Like most ignoramai. Yeah. Ignoramai. Yes. That's a new one. Yes. Uh, Ricky says, I now know less than I did before listening to that last segment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you should know more. Uh, and how about this one properly. from uh, B Champion says, mm. uh, how about this angry dolphin who aces typing exam, angry at presentation of gold medal. How am I supposed to wear that? Oh, yes, well, that's uh, all uh, terribly amusing. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know how you're always complaining about the temperature in here? Yes. Um, have you seen the story on the back page of the Daily Mail? It's amazing. Uh, which may explain why Manchester United... Uh, well, it may explain why they actually played better, because most people would say that you know, last night Manchester United played better than they've played for the last few games for Louis van Gaal, mm. uh, who's apparently not very happy at the moment. Mm. Apparently, they, they were claiming their dressing room was too hot yeah. before the game. 
against uh, PSV. But that's... Um, no, it was against... Against Wolfsburg, Against sorry. Wolfsburg, yeah, that's yeah. right. It was in the Volkswagen Arena. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, this is quite a common ploy in sporting circles. I have uh, been aware...